In this video, we're going to have a little gander at doing continuity tests with our multimeter. A continuity test is a quick and simple test on a multimeter that quickly examines if two points have electrical connection. To set your multimeter, you're looking for this symbol. It could be a bit different on your multimeter, but it's normally something like this. And once you set the dial to the right setting on your multimeter, you normally have to use the select or mode button to change between these settings here. When you've got the right setting, you can see that it normally starts with this symbol, the OL. That means open loop, and it's just a fancy way of saying that there's so much resistance that it can't be measured and that there's no detectable current flow. Depending on your multimeter, it could work a few different ways, but mostly it's going to pass a small voltage, say about half a volt, and look to see if any current flows. A continuity test doesn't necessarily mean that there's a short between two points, although that is quite normal. It could also mean that there's very low resistance. Mostly multimeters will say something around 5 ohms is considered continuity. Anything less than that and it will tone. Let's do a continuity test on this 6 ohm resistor. And you can hear that it's got a continuity tone through it. But let's do a continuity test on say this 55 ohm resistor. And you can hear that there's no continuity tone. A diode could also trick a continuity test. So if you think a diode could be in the way of your test, swap the probes around and see if you get continuity in both directions. You can see that this multimeter is passing 0.6 of a volt for its continuity test. Now that's not enough to trigger either of these diodes, but you should know that it's a thing and some diodes can fool it. Before you start your continuity test, you should also check that the multimeter is doing its thing by tapping the two ends of the probes together. You should hear it tone. You can also use a continuity test to see if there's a break in a wire. This is hookup wire, and as you can hear there's no break in it. But let's have a look at the power rails on this breadboard. On this one, you can hear the continuity is fine end to end, but let's have a look at this one. There's no tone end to end which means that there's a break, or at least very high resistance, between these two points. And because we can see there's no electronic components between these two points, there's most likely a break between here and here. I just happen to know that this breadboard is segmented right here. And if I move my test point to just after that break, we can establish exactly where the break in this breadboard is. And if we look at our breadboard closely, we can see that the spacing here is a little bit different to the spacing elsewhere. Well, I hope this gives you a new tool for your diagnostic tool bag. Go test something.